as 2021 comes to a close we're gonna take one last look at who the most powerful players are here in rise of kingdoms what's going on guys cheers now it's been a few months since we took a look at the top 10 most powerful players here in this game so i figured why not take one last look before the year is over we'll take a quick snapshot at the very end of 2021 just to see who the most powerful players are and we can look back in a few months in 2022 and we can see how these lists change over time now just as a quick disclaimer obviously there are hundreds of thousands of players here in rise of kingdoms and using different stat tracker websites we can sort of piece together who the top 10 most powerful are although some of these players some players don't show up in stat tracking websites so if I do miss one or two players who aren't on this list that are supposed to be make sure you comment down below with their names and what Alliance Kingdom that they're in so way I can keep track of them myself and then maybe next time we can include them in the list anyway without further ado let's jump into the top 10 list with number 10 coming from Kingdom 1647 and we have none other than uh, uh Ayano Heim I, I I don't know the strongest player in Alliance W SA Samurai has 549 million power now to put that into perspective when we did this top 10 list in a couple of months ago the number 10 spot had 500 million so we're already starting 10 percent more powerful than the last list we have 4.4 billion kill points it looks like it breaks down to mostly t5 kill points really impressive stuff here we see the germany civilization makes a lot of sense we often see germany in these top tier players if we take a look at their highest power ever they are currently pretty much there this is their most powerful i've ever been while we're here we can see that they also have 70.6 million dead troops as well looking at their achievements it looks like they're showing off their uh, their gathering skill freddy's expertise i don't know why you would do that killing 10,000 barbs bunch of civ changes emojis i don't think they care too much about their achievement wall it looks like if we take a look at their commanders it looks like their details have been hidden but i would assume that they have expertise nebu zhang yu pakal perhaps this player is a rally lead we do see three of the most powerful rallying commanders here right on the wall so that's really impressive stuff there looks like they're missing one commander right aren't there 75 commanders in the game now looks like they're missing just one that's interesting stuff let's take a look at the album shall we this looks like some uh some sort of really delicious dessert love that this is really uh cute car I guess I don't know what what we're looking at here um I can't read any of this I don't know if this is trying to like tell a story we've got a uh, feet only fans going on here I, I don't know happy every day very cute this is an adorable profile this is this is just so kawaii I love it moving on to number nine on the list we have Farmwell 808 from Kingdom 2322 this is by far the youngest kingdom on any top 10 list that we've ever done I love this avatar it's perfect it's got it's just a laughing well it's 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 amazing we see 573 million power with two points 0.5 billion kill points we can take a look here it looks like those kill points are pretty evenly distributed mostly t4 looks like they're rocking the France civilization I don't know if this is like a troll account or what's going on here but they have lost a hundred battles uh looks like they've unlocked tier two units nice congrats on tier two man I can I, I really think that's impressive you've defeated a level one barbarian fort oh my god and you have one piece of equipment wow that's impressive 100 chest in the tavern looks like they did uh end up in the stone ranking for Olympia champions of Olympia good for you guys that's awesome take a look at their commanders we see a lot of uh kvk season two commanders here I don't know if this is maybe their first uh their first kingdom which would be crazy but they've expertised Alexander Constantine Martel Edward of Woodstock Cleopatra Minamoto lots of crazy stuff there if we look at their highest power ever it used to be 643 million so it looks like they lost quite a bit I don't know if they were in kvk or whatnot uh, but they do have almost 29 million dead troops unfortunately we have no album I wish they had some sort of troll pictures here but they don't they're not even rocking an avatar frame they're just doing whatever they want man anyway moving on to number eight on the list is none other than flying Baroness of Kingdom 1601 flying Baroness being an infamous player many players have met them on the battlefield you can see 601 million power perfectly lines up with their kingdom number nice nice little touch there 9.3 billion kill points absolutely insane you can see a majority coming from the tier 5 kills really nice stuff there 
rocking the France civilization. You get that nice little health buff and the healing cost reduction rocking the France civilization. You get that nice little health buff. I think that's really premium. We could take a look here at their achievements. Um, everything level 25 rank one in sunset Canyon. They've got the Kraken, the golden horde and God of war. Those are some really awesome achievements there. I love the avatar here. Also no avatar frame. Let's take a look at their commanders. They are hiding their commander, uh, details, but we can assume that they have expertise Attila, Zenobia, Ramses, which means they probably have also expertise to their counterparts. So Isun Sin, Takeda. I mean, when you have a player of this of this level, like you know their commanders are all gonna be expertise. Let's take a look here. Their highest power ever, 618 million totally crazy stuff almost 80 million dead troops as well flying baroness also not having any album what what are we going to take a look at if we're just if we're just peeking at the profile also only 74 commanders i wonder if these guys just didn't participate in the latest mightiest governor to get Suleiman. i don't know coming in at number seven all the way from kingdom 1122 we have none other than uh apparently bert gabin is that is that your like government name so we got bert over here in alliance k9 and my man rocking 619 million power with 3.1 billion kill points those points split pretty evenly down the middle with t4 and t5 rocking the viking civilization quite the choice here i love the vikings no photos on the album we got no uh, frame here either i don't know what is going on with these players they just don't care about the cosmetics of their account and i gotta say this is not the only player in 1122 that's on this list so make sure you stay tuned because it gets even crazier but we've got ready to rumble building power 100 million technology points to your alliance this is some interesting stuff here taking a look at the more info it looks like they are currently at their highest power ever with 29 million dead troops and we can take a look at their commanders we do see saladin guan yu pakal attila and mulan it looks like these also are hidden so we can't see their most likely expertise only 72 commanders owned so they are missing a small handful there you do have to appreciate though the uh the ninja gaiden logo here we love to see it moving on to number six we are brought all the way over to kingdom 1446 with none other than kvk miller you guys are familiar with this player we've talked about them in other videos kvk miller sitting at 624 million power one thing that i want to note real quick here before we move forward there are a ton of millers here in this alliance obviously kvk miller having the most power but there are plenty of other uh, members here with the name miller it's actually crazy obviously this player can't possibly own all of these accounts i don't know if this is some sort of cult but it is quite interesting we see kvk miller with almost 5 billion kill points rocking the rome civilization this is not something that we usually see here in uh in the top 10 lists it's just i don't know why it's just, it's just not that common but we could take a look it looks like they are basically showing off their commanders and their equipment with the achievement wall i love to see that let's take a look here team 1446 i do think we've got some sort of like a cult like following going on here in this kingdom but hey i totally understand man i totally understand we see some impressive reports here that they're showing off on their wall uh looks like we got some uh some more artwork and uh legion x it looks like we've got yeah definitely some pretty impressive stuff in this kingdom we see their highest power ever with 684 million totally insane the last time they were on this list they were actually in the number five slot with 676 million so they have dropped a significant amount about 50 million power since the last time we took a look at their account uh, but they do have 29 million dead units as well and if we take a look at their commanders it looks like they do not have this locked so they obviously are a garrison lead probably a rally lead as well if we're being honest but uh the Zenobia Zenobia YSS here we've got the, the the extra health on these guys helps a ton Guan Yu Pakal we love to see that obviously the you know Pakal is definitely a rally lead only has 72 of the commanders so again we're missing a couple here um on KBK Miller account as well moving on to number five brings us to Kingdom 1860 with none other than Dark Cookie last time Dark Cookie showed up on this list they were much farther down most likely because of KBK or something of the sort but Dark Cookie right now sitting at 660 million power 4.5 billion kill points broken down mostly t5 baby you already know the drill rocking the viking civilization another interesting choice here for dark cookie now one thing that i do want to point out 
it looks like dark cookie dark brownie and dark oreo are the three strongest players in kingdom 1860 is it possible that all three of these accounts are owned by the same person i've heard that at least dark brownie is owned by dark cookie as well that's my uh, that's what i've been told i don't know if that's 100 percent true but is dark oreo theirs as well do they could they possibly own all three of these insane accounts at the same time that would be crazy what's even crazier is if you add up all of their power they still wouldn't be the most powerful player in the game anyway let's take a look at dark cookie here their highest power ever was 746 million absolutely insane we have 62.8 million dead troops boys a true warrior here dark cookie is not afraid to get their troops killed in battle we see a ton of cool stuff here bronze age owning minamoto okay total troop power is a million we've got 500,000 troop power 5 million troop power oh no that's total power whatever let's take a look at their commanders uh it looks like they are probably both a garrison and a rally lead who knows why we have honda as the as the ranger here i'm not sure what's going on there but we do see a mandatory and zenobia so they definitely can fill more than one garrison with the commanders that they own we see guan yu zhang yu as well obviously they're going to be a rally captain too which is really impressive stuff here unfortunately no album on dark cookie i was hoping we would get some sort of baked treats in this album but unfortunately there's nothing moving on to number four you are familiar with this player as well we have none other than gt duck guy from kingdom 1960. this player was number four on the list last time but they are a bit lower on power than they were back then right now they're sitting at 687 million so clearly they were in some sort of battle some sort of kvk we do see the germany civilization and a whopping 15 billion kill points on this guy totally insane stuff there mostly t5 kill points we love to see it we see germany that's something that is pretty common we also see the gold rank of champions of olympia season season one here so really impressive stuff that's not something that we see too much even in this top 10 list i don't think many of these players really play champions of olympia uh but duck guy does so here we go let's take a look at the album here uh, i think i remember yeah yes okay i do remember this album plenty of cars okay beautiful impressive mercedes what is this some sort of lamborghini here absolutely beautiful stuff i love to see it and it looks like this honestly this page and this page might be more expensive than this page this page and this page let's just be real okay let's be real this might be more expensive but this is pretty insane stuff okay you can see that he's pretty much to expertise everybody that there is to expertise i'm not sure what he's doing with uh edward over here uh with all that good equipment on it I, I maybe just he just doesn't have anything other anything good to do with it but um a uh, little tip ramses would be better here than then edward obviously we've got nebu as well so that's impressive stuff there but hey this guy knows what he's doing i'm sure he's i'm sure he knows what he's doing but anyway we got some really uh crazy equipment here my god we've got multiple accessories some of which are talented some of which aren't i i just i cannot believe that this is real like that this exists this is absolutely insane it's very cool that this player did actually decide to show us pretty much everything uh on their account i really do love that and this is what they're uh oh my god 66 million gems that's actually insane so yeah taking a look at their commander view you see esong you see edward of woodstock i don't know if this player was recently playing like kvk2 or something but this rally combo really only useful in in that kvk uh attila takeda as well this is definitely more of a kvk well i guess four but i don't know interesting choices here we've got khan here as the ranger not sure what the strategy is there but hey it is what it is they do own all 75 commanders good stuff equip eight special talent equipment on five commanders that's actually insane how gathering of elites infinite blade forge uh 20 permanent city themes master craftsman this is truly a beautiful account and a master of rise of kingdoms number three on the list brings us back to kingdom 1122 like i mentioned before they have multiple players on this list and this is none other than george wolves mr wolves we saw him in the last video as well this player also having much less power than they had previously currently they are sitting at 698 million power last time they were on this list they were at 811 million which is totally insane they must have been in some sort of massive kvk 
we also see here their highest power ever is 846 million with 137 million dead troops they really don't care they really just don't care they'll kill their troops it doesn't matter they have 7.1 billion kill points a majority of which being of course tier 5 troops we've got no album on this account unfortunately but we've got some ingenious craftsmanship and of course showing off their expertise commanders meta breaker as well really cool stuff here it looks like if we jump into their commander view they do own every single commander in the game and we can see here that they are obviously both a rally and garrison captain they've got zhang yu zenobia pakal guan yu we've also got sunduk and, and ashita so that's some cool stuff there george wolves rock in the germany civilization obviously something that we see often saving a ton on the training moving on to number two on this list we have to head over to kingdom 14 12 ladies and gentlemen you know you know the drill you know who it is boys and girls this is baba tc out of turk this player is always on the top power list baba is famous and perhaps infamous in the rise of kingdoms community he's got a youtube channel he is he's he's all over the place okay you can't think of the best players in rise of kingdoms without thinking of baba we've got over 1 billion power now of course last time baba was on this list he was at 1.1 billion so definitely down just a little bit but you can see that he wanted to just push just above that 1 billion mark he didn't want any no 900 million no 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 1 billion or better baby and that's how baba likes to roll we're rocking the ottoman empire so definitely getting that extra skill damage probably for rallies and garrison purposes we also see the glorious gold champion of olympia season one as well 19 billion kill points absolutely insane way more t5 kill points than t4 kill points as well coming into the more info we can see his highest power ever was 1.2 billion with 121 million dead troops absolutely insane i have no idea what this is a gifted audience i rejoice at the sight of such talents in my vicinity what is what does that mean i don't even know what that one is coming into the album here we're familiar with the motorcycles we know baba loves the ducati we also have a picture of what i assume to be with his son if you guys didn't know uh, the reason that baba originally pushed to t5 is because uh the story goes the legend has it that somebody I guess attacked his son's uh base in rise of kingdoms so Baba just powered all the way up and just burned the entire kingdom down basically which honestly is pretty badass we've got some pretty slick looking photos here of Baba himself is that a is that a Mercedes I can't really see too closely there but my god almost 7,000 likes on this picture that's crazy oh over 7,000 on this one that's actually nuts I love it of course the motorcycles got over 9,000 okay okay anyway taking a look at Baba's commanders we see some interesting choices here we've got Gilgamesh we know he's going to be rallying with your boy Gilgamesh Gazang Yu over here Trajan as well which is really impressive stuff if you ever wanted to know their talent builds it does look like Baba does share with you the talent builds that he has on his account so if you guys want to play like Baba go ahead and ch check out basically his profile you'll see everything that he has got going on here I guess he's not doing a mixed army with his Trajan it must be all infantry or something because he didn't go for armor to the teeth or arm to the teeth so that's interesting choice there oh Baba you got an opportunity here with Guan Yu I think you could change a little bit on the Guan talent build okay I don't know if he, I don't know if you know that your talent build is like this but you do not need latent power on your Guan and in fact I wouldn't even get feral nature to be honest with you I would go probably all the way up to the top of this elite soldiers maybe putting one or two in elite soldiers and putting the rest in strong of body really interesting stuff here and it's very interesting that uh being able to peek inside you can we can sort of see um what these talent builds are yeah I don't know what's going on here I don't know if this is bugged out but yeah you definitely want four points in venomous sting and uh again feral nature I I mean I don't know probably not the best choice but what what do I know right he's got 19 billion kill points so I guess I can just shut up moving on to number one on the list we have of course everybody knows it you know it I know it we've got Maverick L in Kingdom 2010 this player was also number one on the list last time they have 10 million more power than they did before before they had 1.35 now they're at 1.36 
billion power with 4.3 billion kill points we can see um, mostly t5 kill points here as well they did participate in champions of olympia landing in iron three they've got no album or achievements on their wall not too much to show off here they are rocking the germany civilization we could take a look at their commanders we can see uh richard charlemagne bro what are you doing with the charlemagne there's got there's no way there's no way you're using charlemagne and what is what is alexander in the ranger slot for is, is he gonna be is he gonna be killing your what what is this maverick do you know what this screen do you know did you know that you have these commanders here <laughs> he does have all commanders which is cool but uh what's what's going on here i feel like we we we, we should switch alex and ethel fled maybe i don't know I, i'm i'm not really sure but taking a look at the highest power ever we have 1.39 billion power with 88 million dead troops now listen okay i got a lot of comments on my last video saying that maverick is a bot or maverick is you know a uh, an employee who works at Lilith or maybe he's just a test account a dummy account right guys I don't know the story behind Maverick okay he's got 300 million more power than Baba yet Baba has way more kill points and a way more impressive commander wall he also has a better champions of Olympia like I, I don't know okay I don't know the story behind Maverick but you know Maverick if you're watching if you're seeing this video okay I invite you to come on the channel or I'll interview you or or something like that I want to know your story do you work at Lilith like what's going on here behind the Maverick account or are you just a mega whale who only plays a little bit more casually than some of the other players on this list that's totally possible as well anyway the top four players on this list did not change they did lose a little bit of power since last time but it is the same four so who knows if 2022 is going to be the year where the top four get changed is it going to be a new player in the number one spot I would love to see it but I think that's unlikely anyway with that being said guys if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kings players might see it if you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video but with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace